Hello, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is where you are. My name is Blake. You may know me from A&E's Extreme Unboxing. You may know me from YouTube. You may not know who I am at all. In this video, whoa, we're going through an Amazon return palette. A mystery palette. Something I bought without knowing what's in there to resell. I bought this off bstocksupply.com and we're going to see if I can make money. I spent $1,100 total. $800 for the palette and about $300 to get it shipped to me. Normally I buy larger quantities of palettes to save on shipping, but this is a new supplier so I wanted to try them out first. So the basic gist of this is I have my cell phone right here. We're going to look up items on my phone and I'm going to sell them either on Amazon, eBay, or locally. And as I list the items, or list them off talking to you, I'm going to explain uh, how much I think I'll profit off of them. And you're going to say, oh, but they haven't sold yet. How would you know? Well, I've been doing this long enough to get a pretty good idea of what things sell uh, and how long it'll take for them to sell and what I'll get when I sell them. So without further ado, let's get started and open up this bad boy right here. So the first thing I noticed about this palette is there was some really tall stuff right here. There's three cartons that size. Uh, I didn't, I actually already pulled them out of the palette because this uh, tallest one is 88 inches tall and my door is not that tall. So I had to pull it out so it could get through the door uh, when we brought it on a pallet jack. I think what they are are, um, are bed frames, which is fine, as long as they're complete and not bent. If they're bent, pff, money gone right away, which is, you know, when you buy these pallets like this, these unmanifested general merchandise pallets, usually the supplier gives you an estimate of what they're going to sell for, or I mean what the retail value was, not what they're going to sell for, what they would have sold for if they weren't returned, and the seller said, most of these pallets are worth $12,000 MSRP, like retail value, and uh, the cheapest ones are worth $6,000. So that's like the lower end of the higher end, six dollars to $12,000. Again, I paid under a grand for this with, you know, not including shipping. And usually what I've noticed is that you get about 20 to 30% on a bad pallet um, of the retail value. So if it goes for 10 grand, I should get three grand out of this. If it goes for six grand, I should get like, 1200 uh, 1500 bucks, barely break even. That's not what I want. Ideally, I'm making like probably a thousand or two grand off this, maybe more, uh, but we're not gonna know until we go through it. So let's start doing that right now. Let's do the big things first right here. This bad boy, whoa, it's pretty huge. Uh, there's a little bit of paper coming out of the side. So what's it say? Roof rack installation for Jeep Renegade. So that's what that is. It isn't a bed frame, but I think that one is a bed frame. Um, how are we going to check to see if this thing is complete? I don't know. Let's cut it open with this box cutter. And, uh, you know, maybe there's a way we could part it out too. I'm not sure. I've never sold this particular roof rack before, and it looks like a lot of it's still in the original packaging. Um, these are, again, Amazon returns, and so they could have been returned for any reason. They could be defective. Uh, it could be that buyers didn't want to pay return shipping, so they go, oh, yeah, it's broken. Because a lot of times buyers do that. They just lie about why they're returning it. If you've bought things on Amazon, I'm sure you've been tempted to uh, be a liar just like that. I encourage you not to, because even though you're saving some money on return shipping, it still does hurt the seller. Uh, and a lot of us are just people like you. We're not necessarily part of the giant Amazon corporate machine. So here is the roof rack. These, so let's see how many, does it say how many parts there are? So it looks like there's only five parts, I think. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Uh, maybe I'm reading that wrong. Let's see here. So we've got those. We have these liners, I guess. It's all there's like Chinese right there. So these are this is a definitely like a private label type product. I don't think I could even find the original. Well maybe I could. Nope, I couldn't. Um 
An issue you're going to have with a lot of private label products is that you can't sell them on Amazon because the listing owner, the brand who listed it, is going to say, hey, that's counterfeit, even if it's not counterfeit, and you're going to get your account, um, you're going to get a ding on your account, it'll get suspended, or if not suspended, more likely to be prone to suspension because when those dings add up, they're not good. Um, in the box, we've got the parts right here. We have the two, the two big um, racks for the roof rack, and I'm looking at it, and I'm not seeing any evidence that we've taken out of the box. There's no brakes on it, no tears, which is good. Uh, this one, let's see, <laughs> unless I break it. <laughs> uh, same thing, I'm not seeing any broken plastic or any even opened up packaging. So I think that this is actually complete. Unless I'm reading it wrong. Yeah, so the way this is installed is it looks like this uh, plastic pad goes on like the, um, the foot, I don't know what you call it, the foot I think, of the roof rack. And uh, those parts are all there. So against all odds, I think this roof rack uh, for the Jeep Renegade, I think it's actually complete. I don't know. Back to buckle considerations. Yeah, you know what? So what I'm going to do, because I really can't, I can't totally verify it's all there. I think it is, but I can't verify it. So what I'm going to do for this is auction it off locally. Uh, someone who has a Jeep Renegade is going to know a lot more about the parts than I do. Um, but so far, so good. I'm really comfortable saying that we're going to get 50 bucks for this. Um, if you see anything missing, or if I'm, you know, not, not, uh, if I'm unaware of something about how to install these, let me know. But, um, yeah, at a local auction, roof racks generally cost, like, over a hundred bucks. At least the ones, like, that I've had on my cars cost over a hundred bucks. Um, and that isn't even with installation or any of the stuff involved with it. You have to get, like, the, um the running rails on there first or whatever it's called. So if that's what I think it is, 50 bucks is a, a, a very low side estimate. So we're, we're 100 bucks, or we're um, 1,100 bucks into this, minus 50, only 1,050 to go until we break even. Um, it might sell for more. And if you want to you know, keep up with how the things sell on my, um, how the things sell, subscribe to the channel because I'll be uh, updating on everything I do either on the you know YouTube community page or in a video or on social media uh, but those are all easy ways to stay in touch to keep uh, to keep up with what's going on what is this right here another big one looks like it's uh, any evidence of what it is it was delivered FedEx but it doesn't look like it was opened Maybe it was. Um, the box is in good condition, which is always good to have. It was delivered to somebody in Colorado. We'll take their name off so they don't get the, their privacy invaded. And now we open it. Looking like another roof rack. Nope. <laughs> it's a side awning. What the heck? It's a, it's a side awning uh, for a camper? For a mobile home? I don't know. Let me open it up more. Yeah, pretty basic instructions. Side awning. Uh, it looks like, nope, that's not the UPC code. Hmm. Well, the good news is, is this is definitely complete. It's all still in the original packaging. Um, but I have no clue how much this side awning will go for. Let me see if I can find, like, measurements of how big it is. And maybe I can use those measurements to, to, um, to uh, narrow down my Google search when I try and figure out the value of this. Side awning. Nope. No, <laughs> just the parts. And all the parts are there. Um, let me see, let me see if I can just look up the barcode and like by a, by a miracle it'll show up. Nope. Uh, let's see, 
184, 184 centimeters is like five feet. It's 2.12 yards. So I'd guess this is like a, 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 a six foot awning. So six foot side awning. This is what we're gonna look up on my phone. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I think I actually found what it is. I'm seeing these being sold on like Wayfair and Amazon. Six foot retractable awning. Six foot's about two yards. So I would guess that this is like the same. It looks pretty similar. So you have that picture right there. And then you have, I'll just, um, I'll see if I can zoom in on it so you can see it on my phone. And the way I found this was pretty easy. I just went to Google. I typed in six foot um, retractable awning. I didn't say retractable. I said six foot awning. And then these pictures popped up. And it looks kind of like it. It's going to fit every load, they'll show you, yeah. So, 10 foot, nope, that's the wrong size. Yeah, so I guess, I, this is what I, I just typed in, 6 foot sewed awning, because my big ass thumbs can't type anything. And then it starts showing these things like this, like there's 10 foot by uh, 5 foot, there's a 6 foot by 8 foot, and it looks like they're going for between uh, like 80 and 150 bucks. So I would say, again, if I can get 50 bucks out of these two, that's pretty... I think that that's going to be what I get. Um, maybe more, but 50 bucks at these local auctions, that's like a, a buying point that a lot of things move at. Um, the good thing about these local auctions, and I don't have to pay for shipping, shipping these out would be a bitch, right? The, a huge six foot by, by eight inch by four inch box. That'd be a pain in the ass to ship out. Not to mention, I'd have to, I'd have to rebox it because this box that came in is busted. So by using a local auction, I pay 15%, just that, that's the fee, and the buyer comes and picks it up. So that's good for Blake. So we're at 100 bucks total right now. I think that's probably pretty accurate. Let's see what else we have. The final big one. Oh, it's really heavy. Oh, I'd say this weighs, I don't know, 50 pounds. Oh, right there. This is the bed frame, I think. It's uh, really big. Oh, it looks like it's still got a, it's still got a, a, um, a receipt on it. So I'm not sure how it could be an Amazon return. So this is actually a Walmart.com return that was advertised as an Amazon return. And that kind of sucks because Walmart might have cheaper stuff, but at least we know what the heck it is. You see that right there? Hope there's no information I shouldn't be sharing. Um... Zimtown sturdy red frame mattress platform bed with wood slats for a queen size bed. They paid a hundred bucks for it. So if it's all there, I'll get like 50 bucks for it. Half of the retail value is pretty, pretty safe to assume. Um, let's see. How do we want to open this up without everything falling out? This part right here. This one I was really worried about being busted up because it was sticking out of the box. Um, you can see a little bit of cosmetic damage, but nothing structural. Which is, again, in the resale world, you can see it's a little bit dinged up right there, but nothing that someone can't use. So I'm actually going to be able to sell both or all three of these. Again, I'll only get like 50 bucks per, and it's going to be a pain in the ass to ship. But the good news is, is I can use the receipt and get the stock image off the listing on Walmart and use that on the auction um, up, up in Flint. So that's not against the rules they have there. That wouldn't fly on eBay, but I'm not doing eBay, I'm doing liquidbidding.com. Um, if you guys are in Michigan or around Flint, Michigan, I really encourage you to go to liquidbidding.com. I sell a lot of stuff there, and they're good people. We got some more stuff right here. I see one, two of them, only two. They say MAC High imp uh, Impact Composite Fiber. That's what they say. So, what the heck are these? Are these like uh, bulletproof fabric? Is it like uh, constructed with state of the art materials? I don't know what they are. It's a 12 pack of something. We got a barcode right there. So, let's first look up the barcode. Um, on Amazon to see if it's an Amazon listing. It's supposed to be. 
These were marketed as Amazon returns, but uh, as you saw, there was a Walmart one stuck in there too. Nope, nothing on Amazon. Try the eBay app. You can scan barcodes on the eBay app and find that out as well. And if that doesn't work, what I'm going to do is just put in the barcode um, on uh, in Google and see if that shows up. Nope, still nothing again. So the barcode on this is six six five five one 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 five one five one five four. Nothing. Is that right? Six 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 five five one 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 five one five one five four. Nothing. Okay, so we're not getting anything. Let's type in Mac High Impact Composite Fiber. When I type that in, still nothing shows up. So this is uh, this is interesting. This is interesting. We'll see what this is, and hopefully I can just tell what it is by looking at it. If not. I'd be kind of oh, they're arrows. Huh. They're target arrows. So there's, when you are, are uh, buying and selling arrows, there's, well, there's a, I don't know if this is the limit, but I know of two kinds of arrowheads. There's broadheads, uh, and like there's mechanical broadheads and that kind of stuff, and then there's target arrows. So these are, this is composite, uh, so this is kind of nice. This will be easy for me to sell again locally. It's a 12 pack of target arrows. I don't know how much these go for. Um, I'm not going to open the second one because these are actually pretty hard to get back in the box. We have two of those, maybe more. I don't see any more, but let's just say uh, composite fiber, posit fiber arrow 12 pack. And it looks like hunting arrows, carbon arrows. These are target arrows. They're not. Probably we can get like ten bucks for the, for each of those packs. It looks like. I looked it up on uh, Google. There's a lot of different brands, but the cheaper end, which I assume these are cheaper end, uh, are like ten bucks for twelve. That's like the local uh, or the um like the resale price. It looks like. So what I'll do is put these both at a local auction, and I'll probably get one buck an arrow, I'd bet. I bet I'll get um, 24 bucks for the two of these, so we're going to put that down as 24 bucks for the arrows. It's kind of nice to get arrows. Uh, it's hunting season, basically. It's like fall in Michigan, so those will definitely sell fast. Um, I'm not sure if the high-impact composite fiber has anything to do with it. Probably not. Uh, but still, you know, cheap arrows. Someone's going to want to pick them up. What else do we have in here? We have instruments. Definitely have instruments. You can see like from the outside of the box, it's like a violin case. So actually, I don't know if it's an instrument. I know it's an instrument case, and my hope is, is that uh, while we, you know, let's see, how much does it weigh? I don't see a weight on here, but um, we have one there, and then you can even see like the leather case right there. So we have two, at least two instrument cases. If they're in fine condition, then I do not know what they'll go for, but they'll definitely sell. They're not going to just like sit forever. Let's just start cutting this open now. Okay, yeah, this one, first one right here, it's, uh, let me take out the person who ordered it. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, definitely an instrument case. And I think something's in here. This is all kind of like cheap private label stuff. So I probably... Oh shoot, it's an electric violin. And it looks like that might be repairable? I don't know. I think that's repairable. You can see it's kind of, this string has come off, but it's not like, there's no actual body damage to it. The bow looks fine. It's got some cheapy uh, earphones. There it is, right there. That looks to be the listing. Um, I mean, close enough if it's not. So this is selling for $48.99 uh, plus shipping. 
used. I bet I'll get 25 bucks for it. Um, it's, again, it's, it's like missing, or it's it's not broken, but it's not like in total working condition. I think I will be able to get, again, uh, we'll just go half of that. We'll say 25 bucks uh, at a local auction. A lot of these things appear to be local auction, which is not the best. Uh, I kind of like local auction stuff because I <laughs> I work less, but I also make less money. Let's check out the bigger thing we have over here. Well, I guess we'll do this little this little guy first. Uh, there's a barcode on this. Maybe that'll show us some uh, some love. I don't think so though. These feel like just like pieces of wood. I look it up on Amazon using the Amazon seller app. No dice. I'm gonna have to open open this up to see exactly what it feels like a piece of wood. I probably <laughs> hopefully I'm wrong. I don't know what this is. Maybe some sort of like shelving unit piece. I don't know. We're gonna put it on the side for now. Maybe it belongs to something that's in here that's bigger, but uh my guess is, is these are just like parts that got returned and got separated from what they were with originally and I think yeah they even say Q right there so definitely these are parts to something else and I think they're gonna be trash whoa almost cut myself let's see what else we have here oh look we have some more arrows I didn't even notice shoot well they fell off that happens sometimes we have some more arrows right here and uh, they're not busted up. I'm gonna have to take them out of all of these and inspect them, obviously. There's arrows in there. Yeah, you can see the arrows. So uh, again, we've got, looks like 60 arrows total. And we're gonna say a dollar an arrow, just as a, as a rough estimate. Arrows times five, bingo, that's 60 bucks. Return item damaged during shipping, and that got busted right there. Let's see if it's broken on the inside. Yeah, it's a guitar case. Glary. I'd say this is our first definite bust of the pallet. It just goes in the trash. I don't think anybody wants to buy a broken guitar case. So this seller is definitely doing some shisty stuff. So right there, that says eBay return label. This was again was marketed as Amazon returns. I've gotten Walmart returns. I've gotten eBay returns. I have not had any evidence at all of Amazon returns. So uh, this person, I will not be buying from them again. I do not like this stuff, but I think we might be able to break even or make a little bit of money unless something wild happens in the second half of this pallet. Oh, cool, it's a uh, adjustable backdrop for uh, photography. One last arm to check. Yeah, looks fine, it looks fine actually, huh? That's pretty neat. Yeah, it looks like they're selling for, this one right here is like the same, same idea. Uh, this one's selling for 32 bucks with free shipping. So I bet I'll get 25 bucks off that at a local auction. What is this? Uh, it's an empty or a full box, but there's no label on it. So let me just open this up. It's kind of heavy. I'd say it weighs about, I don't know, eight pounds. Oh no, it looks like it's more pieces to that mystery. <laughs> more pieces to the mystery part that I found. This is like screws, oh geez. Yeah, I think that's some. I think there's a shelving unit in there somewhere that is just gonna get thrown away because it comes to me in 9,000 pieces. So far, again, we've got a few things that are decent, but a few things that are just trash too. That's pretty much how these pallets go. What do we have next? We have this. Very light. A lot of box damage. Looks like. Are these more arrows? Really, really crappy violin bow or a string instrument bow. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten or twelve uh, in that box. Um, I think they're probably not worth much money at all. They look to be 
really crappy, really low quality. Maybe for like a beginner, I guess it's fine. Um, they, I don't even, it doesn't even, I don't even know if I'd want to sell these because I don't know if this is in such poor condition that it's going to give me bad, bad feedback. Um, I'm going to put those down as zero dollars because I don't know if I can resell them or if they're, or if they're even like in a, a condition suitable for use. So those violin bows go down for zero bucks. We're getting into the meat of it. Let's pull out this last big boy right here. This looks pretty heavy. Let's see, does it say what it is? This is a big one. Okay. I don't know what it is. Looks to be, the box so far is in fine condition. Let's open up the top and see what it is. I bet it weighs like, let's see, what does it say? It only weighs 50 pounds, but it's a weird size. Huh. It looks to be, it, it's totally like fine. It's not even opened up. Let me get my phone out and show you guys. So whatever it is, it's in, it's in fine condition. It's not, it's, you know, obviously packaged the fine way. The box is a bit beat up, but um, I wish those barcodes worked. We're gonna have to put it on the ground and open up from the top and maybe like on the other ones, there is gonna be, um, there's gonna be a, like a, a manual that says what it is. That's probably our best bet of IDing this. Nothing too impressive, but it's definitely like in brand new condition. Um, so I'll be able to use this to actually find like some good pictures of it. And uh, it's got the slats in there. It's got everything you need to make a new bed. This is the angle after all those big boxes got taken out. Uh, let's see what we have. We got this Huawei color band. This is worth like 10 bucks, I bet. Um, Nespresso maker. Uh, U-Cuber Harry Potter music. I don't know what that is. Classic fashion sense of silk. I think we can get a couple bucks for this. Probably not, though. Uh, and I think that's more parts right there for the mystery components we've been pulling out. This is the Nespresso Maker DeLonghi uh, ENV135T. And it's selling for, it looks like, uh, 90 bucks right there. Someone sold theirs for 70 This one sold for 90 I, I'm going to do a local auction again. It's pretty heavy. I'd say it weighs like 15 pounds. Um, make sure it works, obviously, but it looks to be in fine condition. And if it does work, I bet I'll get again like 60 bucks for it at a local auction. Let's keep this train going. Pull this off the top of the pallet, and it's, uh, it looks like it's a chair base. Oh, it's broken. Whatever it is, it's broken. So, trash. Got some parts in there. We are going to find out. Oh, it's the same thing. Whatever that was, it's the same thing. It looks like it's a, some sort of rolling shelving unit. I'd have to like make it to sell it. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Whatever, we'll just, we'll say it's zero dollars just because I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. If you're curious what we're at so far, we were at, uh, let's see, 210, 260, 310, 320, 360, 420. So we're at 420 bucks so far. That is, uh, this is, I don't know, I'm not feeling good so far. I'm kind of feeling like I shouldn't have bought this pallet. It's gonna be a lot of work. Maybe like four or six hours of work listing all this stuff and taking it up to the local auction house. And if, I bet I'm only gonna make, if I make any money at all, like 100 or 200 bucks. So that's nowhere near uh, what I think would be good. I grabbed one more off the top. It, uh, let's see, it's kind of heavy. Maybe it weighs like 10 pounds. It is a canvas, canvas, or this is just the bag it comes in. A hammock, maybe? I don't know. I think it's a hammock. But I don't know. What do gravity chairs go for? Your guess is as good as mine. But I bet you if I look it up on eBay, I'll know. Some of them are selling for like 90, but it's a totally different model. Uh, if you can look at that, way different model than what I have. But this one sells for like 20 bucks. So I think, yeah, tw uh, 20 bucks is I think all we're gonna get for it. 
after a whole bunch of really difficult ones to ID, this one's not going to be hard at all. It's an impulse sealer. Yeah, ooh, it's actually a pretty big one. So PFS 300, it's a pretty big impulse sealer. Um, you can tell from that shot right there, it's in brand new condition. Does it say how long it is? The, the way these are priced usually is by how long they are. Yeah, this one says uh, it's a 12 foot impulse sealer. And they're selling for like 50 bucks on, uh, on eBay. So maybe I will do it on eBay. It's gonna be kind of a pain to ship because it weighs, I don't know, maybe 10 pounds. I was walking around this and I think I saw another impulse sealer. Two more, maybe even more. So we're gonna pull those out right now and just add to the total. Man, I would love for them to be a bunch of these because these impulse sealers sell pretty good actually. They're easy items to sell, easy items to ship, and generally they don't get returned because they're being used to like package bags. What other goodies do we have in here? What is this? I don't know. I pulled it out and it's like some sort of container. It's, it's in new condition, it's fine. Maybe it's like a pet travel carrier. I have no idea. I think it just can get thrown away probably. What about this? This one, a bit more promising. I think it's another photography set. So I'm gonna say we'll get 150 for this because it's got the lights, it's got the bulbs, it's got all the clamps, it's got the carrying bag, full setup. Let's see, the, the other one was just the backdrop. This is the whole setup with the lights and everything. So we should get, let's say a hundred bucks. I opened it up and it looks like a bunch of random shit just got stuffed in this box. So that's a walkie talkie. That's another one of those like lingerie type things. Those are two AC adapters. That's another Harry Potter music box. Uh, I think someone just, I don't know. I don't know what goes on, but um, again, I'm really not that eager to buy from the supplier again. It kind of seems like bullshit. Okay, I just talked a bunch of shit about this box. Let's see what is in it a whole assortment of garbage oh this is the last thing i wanted to see what is this autumn what is it like a flag seasons garden flag it's a a, a flag a, this is a shit ton of flags you know i maybe i shouldn't have spoke so soon Maybe I shouldn't have spoke so soon about getting shit because even though I do not want to sell all these individually, I bet you they're worth maybe 10 bucks a piece and there's probably a fucking thousand in here. So that could be actually not so bad. Maybe I just made a fool of myself. So I've been getting kind of excited about these. These are 12 by 18 garden flags, right? That's what they're being called. And I looked it up on eBay and there are a but ton selling the, the green means they sold and these aren't the same like design but i am amazed at how many people buy garden flags you put them on these little like metal sticks i guess i don't know i'm not a big flag guy so i didn't think they'd be worth anything but we're seeing these garden flags like this one right here be joyful 12 by 18 garden flag sold for nine dollars free shipping and that might not be too impressive but this is the same quality flag that I have right here. And these are only gonna cost three bucks to ship. So if we're selling them at eight bucks a piece, is this what that sold for, eight bucks? Nine bucks, nine bucks a piece. You're looking at $6 before all fees and that kind of stuff. So we'll, we'll, we'll say 20% we'll say fees and that'll take into account some returns. So that's a buck 80, 480 with shipping minus $9 is just like, what is that, $4.20? So if we're gonna bring in $4.20, for every single flag we have there. I don't know how many there are, but there's 12 in a box and there's probably like 60 in a container, maybe more than that, I don't know. 12 times 60 is 70, 720? Whoa, geez, if, uh, that, that could turn this from just what I thought was garbage to like, maybe it's gonna take like three years to sell all this. But over the first year, I would be surprised if I don't sell 50 flags so that's easily right there like at least 200 bucks profit and i might even be able to wholesale these for a dollar a piece i don't know again i'm all just this is me talking off the cuff as i do it but these are the thoughts i have as i'm going through pallets trying to understand trying to figure out how i can make the most money i can in the least amount of time which should be your goal tool tool which should be your goal too as an entrepreneur yeah so there's this box right here and then 
this one underneath it is the same, filled with these, so I don't know how many there are. I divided them up. They're holiday flags. I pulled out uh, the flags from those two boxes. Maybe there's more flags in these boxes here. I don't know, but I do know that in these two containers, I have 100 packs of 12, which gives us 1,200 flags uh, of, you know, 10 designs, uh, 120 each. And at 1,200 flags, if we're able to sell every single one of them for nine bucks a flag on eBay, which seems to be possible, that would put us at 5,040 bucks. 5,040 bucks, so I think I understand where they got that kind of inflated MSRP from, um, because I bet they had these at like, you know, $10 a piece or whatever. Uh, so I don't think I'll make over five grand selling these, but I do think that I'll make over a thousand bucks selling these. I think that's pretty easy to say, uh, especially if I get creative. So what I'll do is I'll probably sell some on Amazon. I'll sell some on eBay. I'll do some at local auctions. I can sell these year round, these packs of 12 year round, uh, if I take some good pictures and I sell, honestly, what I'll probably do is expand the range of auctions I sell things at and I'll just sell, you know, 10 of these a week. This has the same look as those other, those other ones. So we're gonna open this up and see what's in here. Ah, okay. They actually have an ASIN on them. So maybe I can Amazon these. I don't know, let's get this opened up. Okay, so I opened this up right there. You can see the ASIN, it's the same little thing. And I knew what it was immediately. It's a little shaver. You put on shaving cream to, you know, if you wanna get an old timey haircut, the Barbies is one of those. Um, Shaving brush, synthetic brush hair, imitation rhinoceros horn. There's actually an Amazon listing. I'm not going to sell them on the same listing because that's just asking for them to file a complaint. Um, but I might retake a picture and sell them as my own, or I might just reach out to a bunch of barber shops and say, hey, you want to buy 10 of these for 10 bucks? Um, because certainly they could sell them at their store. Uh, there's again, that's the listing right there. No one's selling it. These got probably, probably what happened is this is a private little product. And they were like, oh, uh, they're not selling. I'm not going to buy any more. And they just had them all um, liquidated. I ended up just putting these to the side. There are 432 of these. And there appears to be five different variations. As well as there's a, a handful of these right here. And I don't know what they are. They feel like some sort of like, um, like a, a, a makeup case that pops open like that. So I'm not going to open those just yet. But we're, we're at 400 uh, and probably 450, I'd say, total items. And they're just like these uh, cheap little, I wouldn't say dollar store products. These are pretty heavy. I think the SS stands for stainless steel, if I'm, um, if I'm right about that. And uh, I don't know how much money we're going to get for these. I have no clue. I'm going to look up just like what a cheap one goes for, and we'll extrapolate that way. So I've got these little uh, shaving brushes. I've got about 450 of them, quite a few. And I looked up what they're going for on eBay. The good news is, is that these shaving brushes, this style of, uh, of shaving equipment sells all day, dozens a day. The bad news is it's worth like, you know, eight bucks. But even at eight dollars, uh, minus shipping, minus fees, I still should make about 275 per brush times 450 that's a pretty big number. This looks like it's the same deal where it's uh, just straight from China, somebody's uh, private label product. And I scanned this up and these are jumpsuits. These are women's jumpsuits and it looks like they have the size. So royal blue, large, uh, dark blue XL, royal blue, large. I. I I do not know how selling clothing like this works. I've never done it before. So there's even the option that I just sell them as a bulk lot too. You know what, now that I think about it, because I don't know shit about how to sell these kind of clothing items, I think I'm just gonna avoid all the headaches and try and wholesale them for like four or five bucks a piece. We have 40 in there. I counted them all up. So let's just say a hundred bucks. We'll get a hundred bucks for these 40. They're actually selling at, like I said, 28 bucks. So this is not that crazy to wholesale for two bucks a piece, 250 a piece. Um, initially I said five bucks, but I just want to be as conservative as possible with you guys so you can know what you're getting into. Um, I wouldn't doubt though that someone buys these a hundred bucks for 40 of them. They're all new. There was one that was open that I threw away because I wasn't totally sure what its deal was, but everything else, 
uh, brand new. You know, they're not like luxury products, but they're um, they're in demand enough where I should have an easy time getting a buyer. I don't know what these things are, but my guess is that's another private label cash right there. And then this just says mix 55. So what's in here? A mixture of stuff? <laughs> Whoops, have to censor that. Uh, so this is something that I can't show you. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. I put all the sex toys that were not like open box or whatever in this container right here. And I looked on eBay and people are getting like between eight and 10 bucks uh, for a lot of 10 per item. So 80 to hundred bucks. And I've got uh, 30 items in here. So I think I can actually sell this stuff. Um, it's not it's an open box, it's not used, but it's not like brand new. But it looks like on eBay, there's still a market for it. I don't know why, I don't care why. So what else do we have here? We have this. This looks like another uh, one of those um, lighting kits. We have this, a speaker mount. We've got this, uh, I don't know what that is, and then these things right here. So let's open up the big ones, and then this little stuff, I think that's probably just gonna be garbage. I pulled this off the top. It's like a bamboo mat. I mean, 10 bucks, not really worth much more than that. This appears to be an office chair, a rolling office chair of some sort. There's the base, there's the back, there's the chair. I pulled off the chair, and then I saw this. It's a box with no top, with like some uh, blankets in it, maybe? This is not really what I want to see. Life is not always black or white. Doyo Moda. It's got a panda bear on it. Um, is this like a hoodie? Oh, if it's a hoodie, I can just sell regular hoodies. Is it got a brand or anything? Champion Eco Authentic Hoodies. No shit. Um, huh. I wonder if these are fake, <laughs> you know? You never know uh, if something's real or fake. It looks like there's another one. You know, I have no reason to believe these are fake, but I have no reason to believe they're real either. There's 13 of these Champion XL hoodies. That's the patch mark right there. I didn't notice anything janky on them. I looked around here to see if that's how they look. Um, on like the listings on eBay. Uh, I checked these seams too. I checked the tag to see if the tag is like cheaply put on or anything. Um, and it looks like the standard way they're usually made. Um, I don't know, if you're seeing any red flags, let me know. I'll wait a few days to list these. But I think that they're, after like looking through this box, there's a whole bunch of crap in here. They got put in these poly mailers right here. And the, um, the number, the, the barcode on these poly mailers doesn't match the number on here. So they weren't shipped from China. I think that these were just like, they were wholesaled and they were um, probably sold on walmart.com. And then they were shipped back to whoever had all this shit in the first place. So we saw that we had 13 of these uh, Champion XL hoodies and they're going for $22.99 on eBay. Similar price on Amazon. So what I think I might do is maybe keep one because why not and then sell the other two locally i'll sell them for you know 15 bucks a piece and we'll make almost 100 bucks on that so not great but i mean at 15 bucks a piece they're a size extra large should fit most people a little tight on me um and uh we'll get out of there with about 100 bucks how the heck are we gonna open this up let's just take a razor down the side what a freaking mess I don't even know what this is. I'm seeing damage in there already. It looks like whatever the heck. It's like a, I think it's a table. I think it's a patio table, but it's busted beyond recognition almost. So I'm not even gonna open it up. I'm just gonna throw it right away. The final box, it smells like tires. Oh yeah, that one says, colon brand motor cycle tube. I would say we've got probably I don't know, 200 in there. So 200 of these bungee cord S hooks. So we had these bungee cords. Oh, they're so long. They're 96 inches long. I measured them out. Um, so they're 96 inch bungee cords. 
Uh, they appear to be pretty pretty solid like that, but they're not like the best the best build, obviously. Uh, I saw these selling for between eight and ten bucks a piece. I've got two hundred of them, so I think what I'm going to do is sell them in twenty packs at a local auction. And if I can get thirty five bucks per twenty pack, that seems like at, you know a good deal for them and a good deal for me. So I, I would say probably. 35 bucks is what I'll get off these. They'll sell for, you know, $45 and I'll get 35. Okay, so I've got it all tallied up. And just as a disclaimer, this is just my professional estimate. I'd say it's plus or minus 20%, but we're gonna go over now what it sold for and just the cumulative total. So the Jeep roof rack, I think, and this is the profit I think I'll make, not the gross revenue, just the profit after, you know, auction fees or shipping fees or whatever it is. I'm for most of these items, or for all of them actually, I'm going to be avoiding using Amazon because they're private label um, type brands and I just want to be uh, abundantly safe. So most of these, all I'm paying is the auction fee. No shipping fee at all. So that's why the profit is a little bit higher than you might get yourself. So roof rack, 50. Awning, 50. Queen size bed, 50. Uh, the arrows, there's um, five boxes of them, 60 bucks. The 4x4 electric violin, 25 bucks. Uh, the photograph beluga, what? Oh, backdrop, <laughs> $25. The bamboo hamper, 15 bucks. The queen full-size bed frame, 50 bucks. The smart band, $10. The Harry Potter music boxes, five of them times five, 25 bucks. The Nespresso machine, I'll get 60 bucks off that, I think. The uh, three impulse sealers, I should get 125 off of. Uh, the um, other photography backdrop thing, I'll get a hundred bucks off of. Now the two big things I want to talk about are the, the 12 by 18 garden flags, and I have over a thousand of those. I think conservatively I'll make a thousand bucks on that. Uh, and the shaving brushes, I've got 450 of those, give or take a couple, and I should make $1,200 off that. So those two alone, I'm making about uh, 1100 bucks profit. Um, off of the whole thing and so everything else we even saw that could that's just gravy on top right so if it doesn't sell no big deal and as you watched in the video a lot of these things that I could sell I'm not selling uh, because the time it would take me to get them in a position where I could sell them is not worth I'll make 10 bucks why work an hour for 10 bucks I personally don't want to do that so um, let's see the new clothing bundle there's 40 of them in there I think I'll get a hundred bucks off that uh, the box of sex toys, I said 100 bucks on that. That might be too high, but I think based on eBay sold listings, that's not crazy to ask for. The 15 bucks in the chair, uh, the hoodies, I'll get 100 bucks probably off the 13 of those. Uh, and the bungee cords, I think I'll get 250 bucks off of those. You know, so I'm selling at about a buck a piece, a little more than the buck a piece. Now you add that all up, and it's 3,350 bucks. So 3350 off of my initial. $1,100 investment. So I'm essentially 3xing my money, but it's going to take, in the case of those flags, it might take two years to sell them all, or maybe, you know, I'll, I'll do what I said I would do and wholesale them and make that thousand bucks a lot sooner. Again, this number, I'd say plus or minus 20%. So maybe I'm only going to make $2,500 off of my $1,100 investment. That's still not bad, still more than doubling my money. And if really, if I do get lucky or I do get fortunate, whatever you want to put it, I might make, you know, five grand off this if I end up selling all those flags, if I sell, on all, the, uh, sell all those brushes for like, you know, 10 bucks a piece or whatever it is. So there's certainly room on top and room on bottom, and I did my best to give you guys an authentic, accurate uh, display of what one of these pallets looks like. Um, I'll, I'll, if you have more questions about this, you know, feel free to ask them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer those. We're doing live streams every Wednesday at noon Eastern time, so make sure you subscribe to my channel to watch that video. Uh, and as always, guys, don't be a shithead. I know it's tough right now, but do your best to just, you know, be patient, uh, look at things from an analytical point of view, uh, and don't, don't jump to conclusions. Unless, of course, that conclusion is you want to subscribe, because that's always appreciated.